All right, let's say you were given two points on Desmos and you wanted to be able to connect those two points with a line and you wanted to find out what maybe their equation was. So you would have the two points listed in your rows here. Now again, you can label or not label them. If you click these buttons right here, you can change colors. You can click the wheel and change a color. Maybe I want one blue and one red. I'll keep them both red for now. Whenever you're done, you just hit done there, but you have this wheel right here that will give you your settings and stuff. Now to connect two dots, you have to put them in a table. Now you can hit the plus sign and hit the table and that'll start a new table for you. And you can just enter both of your points in there. I can put negative four, put the right arrow and put negative two. And then I can do the next point is eight and hit the right arrow and one. And then that just put the two points on top of the original two points. But if I want to connect them, I got to go back to my wheel again. These are always my editing tools. So I clicked on the green line. Again, I can change colors. Uh, I can make it an open dot or an X. But if I want to connect them, I got to put lines right there. So that'll be the line that connects them. And then you just hit done. Now you've connected the two dots. What if you want this equation? What if you want that equation? Well, what we want to look for is a, a slope and a y-intercept. The y-intercept is a little easier for us to find. We just got to see where it's touching the y-axis. Hopefully it's on a whole number, which in this case it is. It's a negative one. So we know we're going to end our equation with something x and a negative one. It's going to end at negative one because we need it to hit here. We need the right slope though. Right now this there's a one in front of this x and the slope is not a one. We need this to be the green slope. So you would want to count from one point to another what was your rise and what was your run. That's your slope. In this case I rose up two lines which represents one on the graph because each line is a half. So I'm going up one hole and I'm going to go over two and I'm going over four. So I'm going to go up one and over four to get to the next point. So on my, on my uh, equation, I want to put 1 and hit the slash for division and then hit 4. And you'll see the black line cover the green line exactly. So now you have, you have a way to connect your two points. You can look for a y-intercept and you can count slow. You might have to count from one endpoint all the way to the other endpoint and then have to reduce it. You know, if I had done that, we would have been going up one, two, three, and then over 12, and that would also reduce to one fourth. So that's another way to do that. But that's how you can connect dots and how you can make equations.